considering to see tablets their studies. This would be the lesion of tertiary syphilis and would present as a damage to the dorsal column. So if you have the medulla, the spinal cord, sorry. In Spanish it is medulla. So here we have spinal cord. We have damage to the posterior horn or posterior uh, columns here and to the roots dorsal roots. This is the lesion of talus dorsalis. Now the patient would present with decreased proprioception, decreased proprioception, um, fine touch, etc. So the patient would have Romberg sign, that is the, the, the patient, if we ask the patient to close the eyes, put the uh, feet together and this, the patient would at the end be something like wobbling or wilding, something like that, because with the eyes closed, is is depending only on the proprioception from the feet, so the patient does not feel the 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 floor, etc. So the patient in normal light could be fine, but when the eyes are closed or when the night is coming, the patient would have ataxia, and that in this case, would be that it's just like um, dropping to some some size, and also the. Um, the, the patient who have the stepage gait. This is the patient who will give steps with a lot of force because the patient is not sensing, is not feeling so when those very quick, very uh, not quickly, very uh, with a lot of pressure, the patient will feel it. So the patient will have loss of perception, fine touch, also would have charcot joints. Charcot joints is the abnormality on the articulations secondary to a neuropathy and the patient would have argyle robertson pupils these are pupils that are reactive to accumulation but not to light so tabus dorsalis is the tertiary syphilis that present with proprioception uh, abnormalities the uh, robert Allison pupils or argyle robertson pupils and the charcoal joints in late a course of the tertiary disease.